<laughs> yeah, my little baby Pika. Woo! Oh, these guys. Morning. Um, today's Shavon's birthday. So we are going to London. Oh, should be fun. I haven't hung around my mum for a, a long time. I can't remember last time I went out with my mum. With the kids, it should be fun. I just don't know what to wear. And I was meant to go to the barbers. Uh, that definitely didn't happen. Yes, I am. I was watching so much documentaries out like, all day. So I was watching um, Murdered by My Boyfriend. I watched Murdered by My Father. Murdered um this two these two couples that are literally murdered for just dressing like for being gothic. Oh yesterday I this it was awful for me watching these things. Because I've watched Murder by my boyfriend before when it first came out and it's about a girl who's being abused and he just manipulates her and then he ends up killing her in front of her child. And I knew it was a true story, but I probably looked into it saying it's a real, real story, you know. Oh, my God. And the boy, the man only got, like, 16 years. So I was just thinking, oh, my God, he'd probably be out by now. But she got murdered in 2010, so. Oh, my God. Oh, no, but he got extended because he abused a psychiatric woman. Like he punched her or whatever. So they extended it, but. I was just watching all this stuff yesterday, and for one, like, you can really never spot an abuser, you know? But obviously she should have left, and everyone says she should have left from the first time he hit her. But then the way he made it, like, it was... Oh, my God. It's like she was really in love, but she was just in love with the wrong man. It was awful watching it the second time. Just, like, you need to be thankful, honestly. Sometimes when you're so desperate for a relationship, that's kind of what can happen to you, you know. You can get yourself into a situation you can't come out of and you just might be losing your life. Seriously. And then I had someone on my Snapchat that I just had to block more well, unfriend or whatever. And then they were like, um, yeah, that's what you do. You 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 hit her and then fuck her good after. I was like, Oh my god. It just opened my eyes up yesterday. And then when I watched um, Murdered by My Father, oh, it just puts my whole perspective into religion and how I feel about religion, which I'm definitely going to do a video about. Because, you know, oh, I can't talk too much of it because I don't want to be respect... I don't want to sound disrespectful to people that are Muslim. It's just not a religion that is in favour of the woman at all. I feel like it strips the woman completely of her rights. If, like, ugh, ugh, someone's... Islam is very sexist, and it's only in favour of the man. Super sexist. I don't want to say anything about anything more about that. And um, when I watched the two goths being killed murdered just for being different by these stupid teenage jobs i was like oh my god like a woman actually lost her life both in the comas the man made it i was just like wow you, you think so much about um how black people have it unfairly and stuff and but fucking hell some shit definitely goes on in the caucasian community bloody hell man I would have never thought of that. I would have never expected it. I would have never thought that a straight couple, a heterosexual couple, would get murdered just because they happen to be a bit gothic. Or oh, no, their gothic subculture, the goth subculture, what it's called. Just because they were a part of that, I would have never thought of it. So it's like, people always have a problem with you regardless. It's awful, that one. Actually, that one really knocked me for six, to be honest. It was so horrible. Horrible, the way they beat them. So, without a care in the world. And then I watched um, Life on Death Row. Oh, my God. 
And the stories there was just crazy. And it was just irritating me because I feel like, you know, I'm not stupid. I don't have good instincts. I obviously know when someone's guilty of something, right? And the fact that, like, you are going to be executed and your pride is still still holding you back from just telling the truth and just admitting what you've done. And the fact that they're finding excuses and, oh, I was like, oh, my God. I definitely, definitely do believe that they should bring execution back. I, I, back. I definitely think they should bring execution to London. I was just, I was watching all these blog posts on, um, I was watching this one Instagram blog post that I found. I was watching all these stupid young boys acting so daft, hitting police and all of this stuff, robbing people and tripping people up in the road and starting random fights. And I was just like, People will obviously act like this because there's no repercussions for their actions. I really, really believe that they should bring execution. I feel like death by lethal injection should be brought to London. I think it should be an eye for an eye. Sorry, if you want to kill them, you should be, you should be killed. I feel so strongly about it. I've been saying it for years and watching it yesterday and hearing the families... That have been killed, like where their relatives have been killed, so. Oh my God, this man! Oh, the way he killed this woman was so horrific. Oh, it was awful. And no, I'm in here for a wrong crime. Oh, shut up! You was trialed twice. What wrong crime? Are you being committed for? I mean, to be tried twice and to be found guilty twice, they must have some substantial evidence for your ass. And it's like, I feel like people here are a bit more... I just think it will shake up a lot of people. I definitely think it will change a lot. Even if it was just noticed that it was being introduced and people knew that there was like a... um, a repercussion for their actions like 16 years someone gets half like someone has to do half of that if they're in good behavior 20 years half of that if they're in good behavior life here is 20 years and if you're in good behavior then you're most likely to get out earlier that is ridiculous for knowing that you killed a whole person and do you know that's not even long you know in 20 years i would still be young enough right god forbid any one of my family was murdered in 20 years someone got 20 years and that's that's life in here this country right they could literally, I could be, they would be out in 20 years' time living their life, you know, for some, for a whole person that is not here anymore, that you killed brutally, cold heartedly with your bare hands. Oh, my God. I would never be able to get over that. That's why I felt what the woman was saying, like, she was like, it was 25 years since her mum got murdered, but... And this man was on lethal injection and he was about to be executed. And she was like, it obviously wouldn't prevent any murders, but it gives her satisfaction knowing that he suffered. Like, knowing 25 years is not long enough. I don't care if someone, you know, I feel like, yeah, you can forgive the person, all right? And maybe you can forgive the situation, but... I don't, I can't put myself in that position to know how I would feel because I've never had anyone close to me like that being brutally murdered and I have to deal with the fact that they're, like, they're killers living life, especially in prison here. Prison here isn't even like prison. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, honestly, like, the laws here are just ridiculous. Seriously. Even my cousins. My cousins did horrible things and they only got to do half of their sentences. And you know what, right? I honestly think they should have done a whole sentence, if not more. But here, no. It's not like that at all. I was thinking, and going back to like murdered by my boyfriend, I was like, oh my God, only if, like, when I read the original story, of the 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 story that the film is based on she called the police 11 times like 11 that the, the, the force had 11 times to save her life they didn't even question it you know i was thinking like from the first time even if someone is being abused and you and they and you can see that it's evident that they're being abused 
and they're covering up for the person, I still think the person should be taken in. I think from the first time you phone about abuse, from the second time the person should be detained. The third time is straight imprisonment. I just I feel like there should be more stricter laws to protect people from domestic violence because it's it, people are obviously not. It's not like they're protecting that person, but they have a fear. They're scared, you know. Look at her. She lost her. Such a beautiful woman, and the fact that he killed her. He, she, his knuckles, this his hands, beating her to death in front of her two-year-old daughter. He put that daughter to bed and still carried on beating her. Do you imagine? She had 21 facial fractures. She died from 21. Are you telling me that he only deserves 16 years for that? Fucking hell, you should be executed. You want to... That's... He literally executed someone literally in front of their daughter. And you telling me 16 years is enough? Oh, this country and their laws. If I could be in a position of power to do something serious, oh, God help me, I would push this. I Like, I actually would love to research and know how I could make a law, to be honest, because I honestly would... I honestly... I feel like something serious needs to happen. I just... I just wish I was in more... I was... I don't think I'm powerful enough at all to, like, do anything about it. And it's irritating because so much people's lives are lost carelessly through domestic violence, you know. So awful. Anyway, I need to get dressed. Ah! Let's get dressed. I don't even know what I'm wearing. Ah! I don't know what I'm wearing. I need to figure this out. I need to sort out my face. I need to go. Oh my god, the train. since I was eight. This does not look like London, does it? Reminds me a tiny bit. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at the reds. I ain't seen these in ages. Oh, maybe we walk around this way. Is that the queue? Oh my god. 
Oof. That is a cute. Liv is all excited. Thank God for, for fast track. Oh God, imagine lining up at that. Look at what your bum is massive. <laughs> I'm feeling the whole of the screen. <laughs> this is all the time. Oh my god, this is a nice selfie place. Man, sorry. This is so nice. Yes, I'm so happy. This is your treat. Oh my god, that is a selfie wall. Oh, this is selfie galore, this place. Oh, look at Marilyn. Oh, is that Audrey? That's Audrey Hepburn, isn't it? She don't look like that. That is a really bad model. Oh my god! My feelings. So cute. Oh my god! Look at Marilyn. Oh, he's looking under her dress. <laughs> her hair looks like Amy Winehouse, isn't it? That's not Amy. No, she was prettier than that. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that water? This is so dope. I recognize oh this. <laughs> no, sure, so Jesus, what the hell is this? I recognize the soul. Who is that? Who's she? Is that meant to be Kate Middleton? Mum, these are very bad dummies. Do you think she's a little bit? Woo! He's a scary. He's like. <laughs> Yeah, he does, to be honest. Is he? It's not a lie. <laughs> oh, no. What do we got? Why do you feel like he's alive? Oh my god, yeah, look, that's Samuel. That is Samuel. Oh my god, it's Prince William. Oh, is that Russell Brown? Wow. Real. So does Russell. He looks scary. He looks scary. has the biggest crush on him. He looks so handsome. <laughs> Beckham was taller than that. He said she looks like in real life. Mum, this looks like a... She's quite tall, you know. Oh my god, I want one with him. He look that looks like Kanye West. That don't look like Kim though. Wow. This actually looks like Kim. Oh. from Bridget Jones. Oof, that made him look older. Look at Angelina. Wow. So 
super fast. Mom! Oh, well, I don't need to see them. I've already seen William. Who's <laughs> over there? Uh, oh, I know him. He's a Bollywood actor. Olivia. Turn around, check oh, That's that girl from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, Hermione. Yeah. He looks so real. <laughs> Olivia's got a crush. Uh, uh. That was George. Yes. Yes. That's Kate Winslet. Why are all these no, women so cool? Leonardo looks so real, my god. <laughs> Olivia, he's coming! <laughs> Learn some manners. Brush your teeth. Trayvon? <laughs> oh, look at Daniel Craig. Oh, wow, he looks old. <laughs> Javon, quick. ET is free. Come, come, come. Let her take a picture first and then sit on it. Oh, yes. Thank you, babe. Go, 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 go. You go, boy. Um, going home. <laughs> going home. <laughs> ET wants home. <laughs> um, this dragon, you better move before she tells you to take a picture again. Oh, nice. Look at Shrek. <laughs> Looks like blessing. <laughs> oh, look at Arnold, Mum. Uh -oh. Hmm. Oh, look at her, Judy Dent. Hi, Mum. <laughs> Who's that? YouTube! <laughs> Looks like I'm in my um oh. How the hell are YouTubers in Madame Tussauds? Oh my god, you can charge your phone. I knew I should have put my camera. Oh, come Jake. Alright, let's take a picture. Look at Henry, man. Oh, he was a big boy. Big slut. Slut. Oh, oh he looks like William. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I don't do this. I was expecting her. Bloody hell. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Woo. That's so scary. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Megan. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at Donald. His hair looks better on the dummy. I'm Don Trump and I'm here talking about fake news. <laughs> He actually looks better than the real person. He's hair real for a while. Wow. Martin Luther King. Is that JF Kennedy? Yeah! Wow. His hair is amazing. <laughs> is that Beyonce? Who is that? Is that Beyonce? In those shoes? Never. Go on. <laughs> Look, that's. I mean, I'm. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, this is so creepy. So, oh my god. I only see thought that she was a bit chunky, but she's got a nice shape. Nice shape. You put Britney in this So No Britney. <laughs> Look at Bob Marley. Is that Lady Gaga? Ooh. Look at Bob. Jara Safari. Blood clouds. <laughs> I actually like the fashion to be honest. Amazing. Good stuff. Sorry, the key. That is waxed. Okay, well, let's play the voice. You can. Oh my god. Well, you got the duo today. Well, this is a, if you could have picked, voice number two, she would have given this voice. It's very good. It gives you trouble. And this is voice number three. Now, I would have picked it for a shot alone. Oh, that is stupid. That's like a Picasso beats a trouble warrior. Freddie had a big mouth. Okay, well let's see how you did. So this is our Oh my god, you can see right inside. Oh my god. Next up here then. Voice number two, she also got one vote. And my favourite, white shirt guy. I know you go boy. You will I am. Hey, we're in some extra Oh my god, this is a wicked. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my oh, oh. oh, oh. god. Where's that wind? This is amazing. Oh wow. Under new owners. Ooh, that's looks so scary. Oh my god, I'm excited. Oh. Are we not going in? Says the attraction continues. Yeah, that's what I thought. I really thought I'd pay for all these things. So what if I pay for? The attraction continues this way. What way is that? <gasps> no way. Is he real? Oh my god. Oh. 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 Is he real or not? Who's real? He, yeah. he just walked down the hall. No way. Is he real or not? I'm scared. I don't know if he's real. Is he not? Oh my god. I know what the hell he is. Is he real or not? Are you sure? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Do you move? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You're so silly, honestly. Oh, God damn you, Sherlock. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, that scared me. Really? Is she really? What is the matter with you, woman? Oh. Oh. Ah. Security post. Excited, Joe. Yeah. Oh. Should just come down? Oh. Yeah. 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 No, it's like a ghost train. Welcome to the spirit of life. Oh. Hemos retrocedido 400 años en la historia para visitar el Londres de la reina Isabel I. See where we are going. To the right. That's why there's so much people. Mm, look at her long legs. Go girl. Yes. Yes. What? 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 We're going on the cable cars. Interesting because I've never actually been on them before.
Doors closing. Please mind the doors. Yeah. Oliver, do you trust this lift? It worked, your oyster. Mm. Did you touch your oyster on the gate as well? Did touch my oyster, my card. Oliver, do you trust this elevator? I don't trust it. Doors open. We have to take the elevator. We're really coming up like we're in the airport. Why isn't the doors open? Finger trap. Oh. Is that crazy? Oh my god. Oof. Oh my god, look at them. What did you do? Are oh, you scared that we was going to stay be stuck in a lift? Oh, a lift. Oh. Oh. oh wow, we get a whole one to ourselves. Oh, guys, on the top. My baby, guys, electrically. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw this one. Oh my god! I don't know how to close the door! Oh, oh. 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 oh my god! <laughs> wow, the operation must be real cool. Is that it there? <laughs> this is your next job, Bob. Oh, nice, isn't oh. it? Oh. I get discounts on the airline if I work too. Don't know. Yes! Probably, yes. I was terrified. It looked like the doors were going to close. It looked like they had Broken, to close. It just got a lot of fresh air, innit? Yeah, and then if, if we like move a little talk? bit. Ah! Oh, it's moving now, bro. Oh, it's going it's fast. It's like oh, a rollercoaster. Oh, I love it. I love God. it. I love it. Yeah, this is that bit which oh, makes no. me feel weird. Oh, no. This is amazing. Oh, no. Do you like it, Liv? Yeah, it's oh, wiggling oh. side to side, which makes it feel a little dangerous by the spine. Oh wow. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. You know where sweaty. we're going? We're going to that funny shape building there. Look at oh. the view. Oh, the view. The view. The view. Is it still going up more? Yeah. Yep. I can oh, see it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Hi, everyone. This is Cheeseburger Xbox. Right now, we are on a hey, cable car. Hey, don't forget me. Oh, yeah, and it's also my sister. Oh. And we're going to be going up to the dam, which is going to be on a cable car right now. See this cable oh my car? God. Bye. Oh my god. Bye. 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 It's kind of like a <laughs> booster. We go up oh slowly, man. but then we go down a little bit faster. But it's, yeah. So I'm it feels a little terrifying. Afraid. It's a little terrifying. Oh, this is awful. I am exhausted. Oh, my mum. Because she works on the train, she's seen all her people. She's doing her round of hellos. Mm. I just want to get on the train so I can sleep. Oh, you can't have a fucking smartphone. What, you a joke? You got some dinner with you getting your smartphone. Operation at this station, security.